Hello everyone, this is Phil from undercage.com. Today we're going to take a look at uh, Firefox phone. Uh, this is a developer's preview from a Spanish manufacturer called Geek's Phone. Uh, it's called Keon. Uh, this is, the box is, uh, is, a, is based in paper. It's made out of paper, it's got all orange tones. So good looking box I should say. It's better than a Samsung stupid uh, white box with the the wood pattern. Anyway, uh, this is the key on the handset itself and underneath that are charger, charger, uh, USB charger with the output of 600, uh, 650 milliamps, which is not exactly a lot uh, for current standards. And inside that are micro USB uh, cable, a battery, which I already installed on the phone and a headphones. Uh, it's a very neat box. Uh, I like the way they arranged it. Anyway, the box doesn't really talk much about the phone. This is the key on itself. On the top there's a receiver. Underneath that is a 3.5 uh, inches of HPGA uh, display. And under that is a key that brings you back to home. Home key, aka. There's a power key, volume rocker, and a micro USB port upside down, 3.5 millimeters of headphone jack, a uh, three megapixels camera, series of logos, and a external speaker. Uh, taking the battery cover off, yes, you can take the battery cover off. There's a micro, no, there's a SIM card slot, and there is a micro SD card slot, along with the 1850 milliamps of battery, replaceable battery. Uh, installing the battery cover back, uh, we can turn the phone on. Um, and we can unlock it. And this is the main screen uh, of the Firefox OS. Uh, this is a developer's preview device. So this, uh, let's not talk much about the phone itself. This is not for your daily use. So uh, this is the operating system. This is the main screen. On the right side, there's a series of apps. This is like a app drawer for Firefox operating system. Um, on the left, there's a series of uh, apps slash web pages that you can use. They're categorized into, the, uh, into their uh, themes. Uh, you can tap on it and you can get a direct access to the web pages. This is on 3G, so it's not exactly blazingly fast. So uh, there's a series of things that you can do on the phone. Most of them are mobile web pages and you can download apps on the uh, marketplace Firefox Marketplace, there, there are not exactly a lot of apps, but there are a few essential apps that you can use. Um, the, the Firefox OS is still not complete. Um, it has a series of languages that supports uh, mostly, uh, mostly alphabetical languages. And um, keep, it's also lacking keyboard support for uh, any, uh, anywhere else than uh, what is that? Alphabetical languages slash or Cyrillics. Uh, so there, there's no third party application support for that. So if you are living anywhere else than uh, these countries supported with the Firefox OS, this might not be the system for you. So the point about the Firefox operating system is that they are trying to target a developing countries, uh, currently developing countries, uh, such as some South American countries or in, um, or some Asian countries. But uh, it, it kind of makes me skeptical if this is exactly the call for Mozilla to uh, push forward a Firefox OS. It's not exactly smooth for its for a system. And as, as if, if they're going to try to push this for its price, there are many Android, uh, Android phones under $100 of budget range. There's a LG has launched Optimus L1 under for 99 bucks. And since this costs like seventy nine ninety nine, uh, it's not exactly, say, has that much of uh, strange strong points compared to Android. So there, there there has been lots of new operating systems like Ubuntu or Firefox, and etc. I'm I'm not exactly positive on their future, but um, as a Mozilla's fan, I I really wish that they make a big success. But um, that's what. Uh, the consumer and the market is going to decide on. Anyway, that was uh, Geek's Phone's key on for Firefox operating system. And uh, that was a short uh, overview of the Firefox operating system. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you.